Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cheryl Crafting Hearts here, and today we're going to be working on our Christmas in July program. And today we are going to start our journal. Um, so if you've got an old book and you've got it all thing made out, we'll be using one of them. I've decided to go with a half, um, a hard book, and. I've got white material in red as my cover in case any of the, because as you can see the front's got decoration on it, um, just in case it covers it. Um, and I think I'm only going to do three signatures for this one, but we'll do that once we've got the, the journal all covered. Um, so you're wanting to have your material, your hard book, probably scissors, and uh, some glue. I find for doing your front book covers, um, Fabri-Tac works the best, but I know some people don't like to use that, so as long as you've got a good white glue, um, it should hold your fabric down. Um, this is quite a shiny cover, um, so I'm just going to see what it's like with the red on it first. Yeah, you can see, I don't know if you can see here on the wee end there, but the gold's coming through. So even if we just, um, we'll just do the outside of the front and back of the book and we'll just cover that. So you just want to lay your fabric down. Sorry, I'll just move some things out of the way before I spill them. And I hope you're all well today and you're enjoying my series um, I, as I said on my last video I just love Christmas so anything to do with Christmas I'm there so I'm just moving this about to just to get it you want to leave about an inch either way I've decided I'm not going to put fabric on the inside we're going to use paper for the inside so we just need enough, that's probably a bit too much, we can probably come back a wee bit more. And I'm just going to get my big pair of scissors and cut down this way. Probably a good idea if I take it off the book cover to do it. I'm using an old bed sheet um, for this. But a good place to get your fab fabric from is your local charity shop or thrift shop, depending on where you are in the world. And you can get them for really good prices. But this was an old house one that I'm, that I'm using here today. So let's just, so we're going to need to do some cutting from the bottom, so just make sure, okay we're going to need to take some more off this side as well I think, I need to pull it to make sure it's, so I'm going to cut it, nope probably just off screen and um, you probably just can't see that bit just now but the good thing is if you use a cotton sheet it should just tear for you and it gives you some nice edges so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flatten my sheet out as much as I can and get some of this stuff out of the way I should have, done, should have done this before I put my video on but that's Cheryl for you so I think got it out as much as I can so what I'm going to do first of all is we'll do it this way this 
still need to take a wee bit more off. Okay, now keep those wee bits of fabric because there's things that we can do, use them for, and we'll be able to use them in this video, in this um, series. Um, as long as you've got some stamps and some ink. Now, I'm going to be using Fabri-Tac here. I might just need to give it a little dig to get it started. I just filled the bottle up the other day, so and I've not used it since. So just get a wee pin. I'm terrible at trying to pick these things up. Ouch. And then it just stabs me. Sorry about this, I'm going to need to put some stuff out on... I'm going to do it off screen just so that you're not seeing everything that I'm pulling out. I want that one there. I might need to use a pair of pliers. They were pliers I got from AliExpress a while ago. I can't remember how much I paid for them. Um, but it's a set of seven or eight, I think, as you get. And it comes in a wee wallet. I know not everybody can afford to buy the brand name stuff of things so I'm going to try and show you different ways and of using different things of and how to get them the best out of for your money. So if we just turn the book over just now just gonna stick that there and then as I said I'm just going to use my fabric tack. So I can just looks like I've got some Got it in one of the sweet sugar bell icing. Now fabric tack is good from going from paper to paper, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, and paper to fabric. It's a good all round glue, but can be a wee bit potent. I'm not getting my glue out as much as I would like. Just make sure you get down to the corners. Now I'm not going to do the wee in shots at the side of the book. Excuse me. Sorry, I just need to fix this cable. I'm just going to sit it under there. That will hold it. Yeah, it's coming out a bit better now, although you can't. I don't know if you'll be able to really see it on screen. Some days you just get your glue like this, it's a nightmare to come out. Just 
Sorry about this, I'll be as quick as I can. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this over. Just make sure I've got it in the right place and then and inside this book it looks like Christmas trees a wee bit so I might actually not cover the inside the whole of the inside with um, paper so oh, that hasn't stuck too well what I'm going to do, I need to wait for that one to come down. I'm going to use this bottle. There we go. This one will work better, I think. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the glue out now. Just go up your edges. And get your corners good. And then just go just like I done. So I hope you are all well and are getting some crafting time in because I know for some people, for the mums in Scotland, the schools are off so you'll be having them to entertain with um, but you should get some time for yourself and get some crafting do done so I'm just going to continue using that it's the leftover of the other bottle I've filled just because I know it'll come out good um, so let's just lay this down again. And just fold it over. Now, because it was a white fa fabric, um, you could have, with the glue, you could have just smudged with your finger. get all that out so now we'll come and do the rest of it and I'm just going to use the, the rest of this glue can't believe we're just been half past a year already. It won't be long before Christmas is on us. So this is how I decided I'm going to do this project in July because I wanted to actually make one um, last year. But I ran out of time. So I thought I'll get ahead of myself this year. And I've got all my um, my digi kits all fussy cut in the papers already. I can't remember how old this book was. Put the papers in it you'll probably see me using it um, for this series for quite a few things the papers are a gorgeous caramel colour now that 
should be enough. I'm just getting my wheel light on. I'll probably need it for using for the other fabric. So if we just make sure we're holding the fabric tight. be fixing the the spine and um, but I'll tell you what we'll be using for that. Okay, so now that that's done now some people um just fold it all round because I'm using another fabric, I don't want to have um, bulky corners, so I'm going to cut the corners out. And just go a wee bit to the other side. Making these would also be a nice idea to give us gifts at Christmas if you've got teenage kids who maybe like writing, give them one and I'm sure they would have fun finding all the wee bits of stuff that you put inside it for them, maybe even some of their Christmas. Or maybe even give them as a Christmas gift to other members of your family. Everybody loves a bit of Christmas. Right, last corner. And I'm going to have to cover this paper. Um, I was hoping I wouldn't be able to, but we will. Now you might not have this, but you'll, um, I'll be using Tyvek tape to strengthen the middle bit. Um, if you don't have Tyvek tape, you can use um, masking tape or even a really decent strong cellar tape and just put extra glue down and it should hold it in place. I'll probably do the bit of Tyvek tape before we put the other fabric on but now this time I'm just going to be doing the glue onto the fabric just making sure I want to get the the edges And then just as you are bringing it in, just pull it tight as you are and then just fold it flat and you will see that both, you won't see the corners and if there's any wee bits like that, just snip them off. So we'll do the next side one. Oh. Fabri tack, you do get a couple of minutes if you need to adjust with Fabri tack, but it is, it's a good one for using, especially for making these types of books. And it, things took quite quickly but you do get time if you need to adjust anything with it and there's just some glues that you can put on straight away and that's it it can't be moved but 
but I know not every crafter likes to use Fabri-Tac. Just pull it tight and just smash it in. Okay, so we'll do this top side now. And just do the same thing, just make sure you've got your edges clearly. Down. So I hope where you are, the weather isn't too bad. It's kind of changed here in Scotland. We did have it really nice at the start of the week, but as the week's going on, it's not so nice. We have had a wee bit of rain. But thankfully tomorrow, my wee dog, Sky, he's going to his new groomers to get... A new haircut, he's badly needing it and especially with the hot weather in the summer, he's needed it. Now what you want to do when you're at the spine is you just want to reinforce your spine with the fabric. Just so that it knows where it's going to be folding over. Oh, sorry about that, it's a wee black ring. I don't know where it came from. It's just floating about my desk, along with lots of other things. Just go and fill the rest in with your glue. And here it is. It's because I'm going to be putting a cover on top of um, this one. That's why I'm not too bothered about rubbing the glue with my finger. Just pull it tight and then just put your bone folder or the end of your scissors. Just let it know and that's where it's going to be folding and you'll see you'll see that you can see your spine not so much in this side but There, you can see we've got our, the start of our journal. Um, so now I want to get my bit of red fabric, like the brighter colours, the outside. And we're just going to do the exact same thing again. Just going to cut it up this way at first. So we've got rid of that bit. Probably to about here. And just do the same again. Now 
that can be used, will be using those bits of fabric for different things in the book. Right, so this is the top. So we want the top to be up there now. And I would say that's about equal. And again, I'm going to do the same with the corners. But I think what I'm going to do is once they've cut this corner I'm going to glue this corner down I'm going to do this one while I'm here so just while I remember see right so that's the top so I'm just going to work a pencil just right top well probably on here just so that I remember what sides the top and so we're just going to get more of this glue These back quarters they really tear quite nice when you're going to use them. There's some fabrics that you get that's really quite hard to tough, like calico. Calico can be a wee bit tough to use. Okay, so now we've done that first one. Let's just pull and fold. And it should go roughly on top of what you've already put. Oops, I've made the top a wee bit more longer. Let's do the corners for Cheryl jumping ahead. And I'll just do this last one. <laughs> have got nice holidays planned for the summer whether you're going to stay at home or if you're going to risk it for a biscuit and go abroad hope you are having a lovely time or had a lovely time and um, we've been away to Orkney for a week so far this year and um, but we haven't really decided what we're doing the rest of the year because we've got the caravan, a touring caravan we try to get away as much as we can with it and our wee dog Sky he loves being away in the van and on the ferry going over to Orkney I was we've had a wee bit of experience with him before going on a boat but he was a lot younger then but he wasn't um, great so we, were, we weren't sure what we were going to how he was going to be with the boat he was better than me 
I don't have great sea legs, but I wasn't going to let it stop me. Um, however, I would love to go and see Shetland, but I've heard that the boat ride for Shetland isn't the best. But in saying that, a lot of people have said the worst bit is going from Aberdeen to um, Kirkwall and Orkney. Because it stops there and picks up people who are maybe going back or like be like us wanting to go on a wee holiday okay everything's sticking to my fingers now my fingers are getting really glue so i'm going to do the top bit now Considering it's the summer holidays, the streets are really quiet. Like, especially the square I'm on. Mind you, I'm at the back of the house, um, upstairs. So I don't always hear what's going on out the front. If you get kids on the street, you would think you would hear screaming and stuff. But it's been really quiet. <laughs> I find if you put the fabric tag into one of the sweet sugar bell icing bottles, um, it gives it a lot, a, a smaller flow because it can, can come out really fast out of its own bottles and you'll probably find watching a lot of the craft videos there's a lot of people who have done the same get glue and i've got ribbon <laughs> everything so now we're just going to do the last bit and that's the first bit of the journal done and we'll leave that to dry and once we've done this I hope I've not blown you too long and yes just now this looks like a modern bit of fabric but using some inks will help um, distress it to make it look more vintage. But if you're just new to um, journal making, start watching what comes in the post see like your your letters your a5 the, the ones that your bank statement would come in keep a hold of them because they're good for using in like your journals um and a lot of the time you can reuse them so i'm just going to pull this across my hands are all getting all sticky with glue And just with your bone folder, now you could probably in this book get at least four um, what's what I'm looking for <laughs> sections, but 
I'll use the word sections just now. Um, but I'm only going to do two because and put more papers in than what I would if I was doing more um, signatures. There's the word. I know it would come to me eventually. Don't seem to have a lot down there. Okay, and that's me, me finish with that. Um, so now we want to put, we're going to put um, some Tyvek tape down. This video today probably will be a wee bit of a longer one than what I'm trying to do them at for you because I know not everybody wants to sit and watch um, everything for an hour. But pretty much what I've shown you there doing with the fabric, you can either cover that, that area in with another sh bit of fabric or you can get a sheet of, say, for instance, this is obviously not big enough, but I've got like we printed um, hymns and carol songs, but you would just make sure it covered all your fabric and then just glue it down but before you do before you would do that what you want to do is i've got a big roll of this stuff but it's not um not everybody will have this so even a bit of masking tape any low tack tape just to give it a wee bit and i don't want to take it right up to the top So I am wanting to take it I'm going to take it about there and then I'm just rolling that back up and just stick that down um, because they're older books, the spines might be a wee bit more fragile and just to give it a wee bit of extra support. Um, if you don't have masking tape or Tyvek tape, um, the other thing you could use is ribbon or a bit of bed sheet. It's just something to hold it down um, to stop that from cracking. Um, Tyvek has become such a big thing and not just crafting but housemaking um, it's got multiple uses that it can be used for and that's just um, that's just the, the coating on the other side of the stickiness so let's just try and peel this yep so all I'm wanting to do is put it down like that. And I'm just ever so slightly short there and didn't go in perfectly straight. And just with your bone folder. Well, what have I done with it? Let's hide them. Just reinforce your spine again. So that's it for this um, video. Because um, I'll, I'll let you do the inside um, yourselves. Um, but for the next video you want to get all different types of papers that you can get printed Christmas papers, Christmas papers you've bought, music papers, book pages, A4 line paper, any kind of paper you can get. And what we'll do next is 
we'll get our papers organised and we'll work out our signatures for our book. But thank you for joining me today on part two of Christmas in July and I look forward to seeing you all again in my next video.